strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? Hey. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Alrighty. Number three, the tadpole is trying to influence you, resist. But I can go from here, if I could. Yeah, there is a concealed hatch. Let's go talk to Mole, I guess. Where do you think your mom is now? Dunno. Somewhere good. There goes half my customers. <laughs> but you'll make up the difference, right? <laughs> Just have to replenish our stock first. Uh, he's not wrong, I mean. Half the customer it is. <laughs> That's the Mole, Zaki. Oh, Alfira is here. Let me talk to her. That's twice you saved us now. Thank you. You bought enough time for the little ones to hide. Mole. Nothing to see here. We're clearing out soon. Here. Nothing to see here. We're clearing out soon. Okay. Nothing so, to see here. Zaki. Melly. Is it true that some All right. Okay, so I guess this this one got Okay, fine. I got it. This one is stuck. Yeah, I can just eat it. Go from here and we can hunt down Karlak, I go I suppose. Man, I can't even sell stuff right now. That's gonna be a problem. Just for the sake of it. I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. Hey. These tracks. Goblins? Uh Yeah, I don't think I need to go there. I think it's fine. Let me check this backpack. I'll give me that. Mugwort. How? You mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar. Strange. It looks healthy. I a dead ball, but it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. seems to be fresh only a few hours dead but you can't find any sign of a wound all right mugwort now uh -huh. people up ahead something's wrong <laughs> you're a true soul you can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. All right, let's see what the dice says. Let's do a d4. The four. I go where I wish. Nice. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured and I... I wasn't thinking. <laughs> A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Alright, let's do one, two, three. Oh, it's a three. 
Move away, reaching for your weapon. Your limbs do not obey. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brynna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, <laughs> our brother, he was chosen like you. Uh -huh. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Uh, let's do a D6, I guess. All right. So this is the D6. Number one, you are mistaken. I'm not true what? soul. What are you doing? Your sword, brother, now! Yeah. Of course he's gonna go down like this. <laughs> Alright. Let's do a topple. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Alright. Alrighty. Let's do Eldritch Blast. Seriously. Uh, strand, right? Here, hacks. Nice. Can't even catch my breath. Oh! Cannot die. Please help me. Uh, where did that guy go? Oh, uh, he's here, right? Victory awaits. That's uh... uh seriously. Nice. So he's dead. Okay. Oh, well, you're not gonna live long, for sure. I don't fancy their chances. Swift and lethal. Uh huh. Let's do this one. This is your end. Alrighty. A one, two, three, huh? Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. Good. <laughs> I will That's... only be by the sundering. The parasite allows us to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. A power born of elithids might be dangerous in the wrong hands, but valuable in ours. A little caution may be advised. The power may prove valuable, or it might not. We simply don't know. Let's do uh, D4. It's the one. Such powers of manipulation could be useful. It's a powerful talent. Use it. But use it wisely. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me save it first. Edwin. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. The 
This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? Hey. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Alrighty. Number three, the tadpole is trying to influence you at this. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Ooh. Okay, well that's done. Okay, fine. Hmm. Send this to camp. I do need to rest, so let's go back and rest. Uh, let's do a round of questionnaire to everybody, just in case. And she's not here also, huh? Wow. Well, oh, that's just the dice rolls, I guess. I've done a few warlocks in my time. Talented. Of course, they're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Let's do a D4. My memories before the Naughty Lord are shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seramorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If seramorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Okay, we're not gonna do three or four, so let's check, uh, choose from one and two. Number one. The instructions were easy enough, weren't they? If slightly elaborate. Yeah. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly, if highly combustible magma method, tends to make for a more compelling case. If nothing else, I'm sure I piqued your curiosity. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'll do one or three. Number four. Number two. Ah, it's fine. Let's just leave it. Should burn my stuff. Because it's uh, only useful in meaningful cases, right? The blade of front is at your calling. All right. So other than like seven and eight, because. I do need to progress, right? So, uh, this two, I mean, from one to one to six, it makes sense to do a roller, do a rice roll, right? Basically, right? So let's do a d6. Uh, it's a six, basically. So let's do. I got this bloodthirst, and urge to destroy, maim, kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Okay, we'll do one to five, I guess. Okay, so let's roll it again. It's a, it's a four. I don't suppose you come across an expert healers in your travels. I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. Did, did it, didn't you see she died? <laughs> Let's do a one to four, basically. Uh, D4. Uh, it's a three. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Alright, let's leave. 
Les elfes. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalark. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Alright. Uh, 1 to 4, uh, 1 to 5, right? So they, they uh, do a D5, uh, D6. And we'll take from 1 to 5, basically. It's a 2. You look so unusual. Githyang keys are rare in this part. I expect I am your first. Okay. Uh, let's do a 1 to D4. It's a num It's 1. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. <laughs> I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. What are you talking about? I have a perfectly fine nose. Uh, three. Really? Thanks for noticing. It was an observation, not a compliment. No <laughs> matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Uh, do one to four. Uh, D four. Oh, it's a four. I had this urge. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. All right, let's do a one, two, three, basically. Let's see. Oh, it's a two. Do you know much about mind flares? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Uh, one, two, three, let's do. Oh, it's a one. Are you sure crash is our only? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Uh, one, two, three. Let's do D1. Okay, so one. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? My past is a mystery to me. Could the... Okay, let's try to do one or two. It's a two. Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. Yeah, do you know what yes, happened? In great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you yeah. bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Alright, let's do one, two, three. Uh, it's a four, we'll try again. Two. Try to suppress your uh, rising panic. That shiver betrays your fear. <laughs> suppress it. It is useless. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Hmm.
Yeah, that's the yes, one. If you give it no further thought, but anomalies lead to surprises, bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. All right. I'll finish it here. Running out of. Already? Nice. I am level three, right? Everybody's level three, right? Yeah. Let's go back. You have a particular way with words, Gail. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is served best with a dash of elements. <laughs> Splendors. Spent a whole fleet's wake there with my father. What a delight. Uh huh. Let's go. There is the Murgrass. Let's take that. I mean, we got. Jack, a technique known to few outside Kalea. Shall I teach you? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. I should speak up. Uh, let's talk to Scratch. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. Okay. Let's do let's do D two uh, D three uh, D four basically. Oh, it's a number one. What happened I told here? You to go. Uh, let's do D four again. Oh, it's a number two. Okay. Perhaps that's true. Your scent is thick with blood. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Uh, I don't think he's going to wake up. Rest, he needs a grave. Uh, number four, we'll try again. Uh, it's a number three, we'll try again. Number four. Number four, try again. Number three, try again. Number two. Just go. I won't ask you again. So is he not gonna join us? Leave us alone. All right. Uh, I think uh, I can jump here and get to Karlak. So let let me get Karlak first. See what happens. There's a skeleton. Ooh! Charisma minus one. Uh, sleight of hand stealth. Who has that? Yeah, let's go find uh, Karlak first. We'll talk to her. Don't mind if I do. Give me that. Let me save it here. I'll do a hard save. Oh, I really hope the dice goes in favor for Car Life, man. Okay. I wonder what it opens. There she is. There she is, Murgrass. Well, well, well. The How Blade the of Frontiers. Of frontiers. <laughs> Hunted devils will not innocence. Were all those people in the Druids Grove monsters? Or is the only monster you? 
Karlak, Advocatus Diaboli. I won't be lectured on monsters by Zariel's servant. What happened in the grove was a horror, one I won't ignore. But nor will I let a devil roam the coast unchallenged. Please. The only devils here are you lot. Okay, let's see what happens there. Let's do a d4. Okay, so number three. We don't have to explain our stuff to you. Come on. Your actions in the grove were indefensible. But Karlak seeks only to drive a deeper wedge between us than already exists. <laughs> this is cute. Well, I'm still going to cave your murderous heads in. But it's nice to get a peek at the inside drama first. Okay, let's see how we can try again. Uh, if you value your life, stand down now. Let's do word two, three. Okay, D1. It's a one. Oh, sorry. I, you guys can't see. Uh, ha, let me do one thing. I think it's the issue is with the the macro that I said. Okay. But basically, it's, it was one. So we'll try to uh, do a persuasion, basically. Ooh. I hope it works. Oh, come on. Oh, I can I have inspiration. I can try it three times. Okay. Oh, come on. We'll try it again. Nice. Ah. You back away first, all right? One false move and you're dead. <laughs> I've more important things to do today than kill a rat. Get the fuck out of here. Now. Before I change my mind. As for the Blade of Frontiers, you fashion yourself a hero, but you lie down with dogs like this. That's just pathetic. So he's not gonna join us? Come on. Pretty sure I told you to fuck off, mate. That's all? So I can't. Uh, let me see what this is. Well, mate. Can Karlak like, join me later? Okay, number one. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing devils in the house? Fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate. A devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach. Even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking. The damage she might be doing. What is the source of yours exactly? Okay, number one. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... Privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Mm. All right. What else is on your mind? Okay, we'll, we'll talk to later, maybe. Can I really not? Ah. Pretty sure I told you to fuck off, mate. Okay, so I guess Karlak is not joining us. 